Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Rambling, Mortlach, the beast of Dufftown. Now for the longest time the only official Mortlach that you could get was this 16 years old in the now defunct and highly collectible Flora and Fauna series. But a few years ago Mortlach re-released its core range and came back with a new 16 years old and so today I would like to put the new modern Mortlach 16 years old, the distiller's dram, against the old classic 16 years old in the Flora and Fauna series for you. For the longest time this was the only one you could get and this is bottled at 43% ABV and it's become quite the collectible now. If you were to find this bottle now you would probably pay around 200 euros for it which is of course way way more than it originally sold for. I believe I bought this bottle way back when for like 85, 90 euros maybe. Anyway the Flora and Fauna series appeared for the very first time in 1986 but it was discontinued in 2012 because the distilleries became well they started to focus on their own releases uh, Diageo started to release single malts in their own right so the Flora and Fauna series had they'd had it they had their time but it was time to move on now I mustn't confuse <laughs> must not confuse all right this is the Flora and Fauna this is the is it is it though I think so <laughs> we'll find out anyway Let's try these two. The Distiller's Dram is at a slightly higher ABV. The modern version is bottled at 43.4% ABV, while the classic version is at 43% ABV. Now notice that the, the classic version is slightly darker than the new modern version. Might that mean that there is some more sherry cask matured in the mix here? I'm not entirely sure, but let's find out. The Mortlach 16 years old, old versus new, 43% versus 43.4% on the nose. Ah. Ah, this is such an elegant nose. It's elegant and sweet with overripe banana, candied syrup, orange marmalade, apricots, some toffee apples and chocolate, mm, some earthy notes in the background. This is absolutely, this, this, this is delicious. It's the one I remember so well. Right, versus the new mother nose. Different, quite different. It's round and elegant as well, but it's less sweet than the classic version. Some earthy notes here as well. Even a touch of wood glue, but it's not an off note in the good sense. It's refined and complex. Just a tiny pinch of salt in the back. Truth be told, this is a classic sweet space cider and one I've loved for so many years, but this is actually more complex. There's more going on in this one. I'm probably, you're probably going to hate me for this, but the modern nose wins. Yeah. Anyway, on the palate. Mm. This one is light bodied, very sweet on apricot pastry, some blood oranges and grapefruit. Mm. I get dates and fresh figs. Oh, it's good. And, 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 and some Darjeeling tea that you've left unattended. And mid palate, it turns a bit dry and, and, and there's this slight bitterness as if I've bitten on a grape pith good though <laughs> right the more modern one the distiller's dram mm. Mm. succulent oh my god this is this is it's very similar but yet different it's it's sweet um, it's it's on sultanas I get dried apricots in this in the Oh, some juicy cherries and blood oranges. It's dark and sweet. I get, I get some plums. And then there's some, some cloves. Some, just a dash of cinnamon. 
some hazelnuts and, and the very same bitterness that I had here, but also that salty edge. Damn, I really thought before doing this that I was going to love the classic one better than the new one. Can't say that I do. The distiller's dram is again just a tad more complex. This is rounder, more accessible, sweeter. This one is just a tad more difficult, yet very accessible as well, and a bit more, a bit more complex. There's no, there's no way around it. It's a bit more complex. Again, both on the nose and on the palate, the modern version, sorry, wins. On the finish then. The classic flora and fauna has a very long and mildly drying finish. It's very soft on the spices, very easy, very, mm, very satisfying. Typically space side. Ah, lovely. <laughs> finish on the new one. Long as well. Dark and sweet, more spicy, a lot more spicy. And I get some drying tannins here. The oak really rears its head in the finish here. But again, it's, it's, it's as if they put more work in this, which probably isn't the case, but, well, there you have it. There you have it. This is a longer, longer finish, spicy, more complex. There's more going on here and drying at the death. The tannins kick in and, but not oaky, far from it. Well, both are quite refined and elegant. They're wonderfully complex, yet dangerously quaffable. And I have to say the former can no longer be found. But in this case, in my book, it's not really a problem because the new one, the new Distiller's Dram, 16 years old, at a slightly higher strength, 43.4% ABV, is just as good, if not a tad better. And this one, obviously, is still easy to find and opposed to the release that they did a few years ago which is still gathering dust on the shelf this new 16 years old distiller's dram is actually quite affordable so go pick it up enjoy this is the kind of whiskey that i will put on the table to impress my friends with it works and that's all for this whiskey rambling and i hope to see it one of mark's whiskey ramblings real soon and until then may the malt be with you bye bye